Mbula. I am Opeta Alefayo, the director of the National Archives of Fiji, and this is my story. I've just always been interested in history. Like, uh, when it was time to go to the library, my friends would go for Hardy Boys or, you know, uh, novels and things like that. I would go straight to ancient Greece or ancient Rome or ancient China, you know. <laughs> I would pop in and just look at the newspapers. You know, because I didn't know what else was, you know, held here. But that's something that I could recognize, you know. And the Fiji Times was excellent because it had all the different elements, you know, of a particular day. I started work here in 2004. We carry out record surveys of agencies. So I'll go to an agency and survey their records. When doing that, we have found records in attics, in uh, outhouses, stored next to gallons of oil. What I want to achieve is to raise the minimum expectation. I want to raise the minimum expectation for my colleagues in the civil service who work with records so that they have higher expectations of themselves. And I want to raise the minimum expectation of the archives. And I think that that minimum expectation should be world class. I really wanted to get formal education on the archives, on records management, archives, and there's nothing available locally. So I made some inquiries, looked at what, avail what courses are available, and then what scholarships are available. I chose Australia because the program that I wanted to go to is a leading program globally. Monash University. That's the place you go if you want to learn about archives and records management. Just to have learned from people that knowledgeable was something. And I really, really enjoyed my time there. Really enjoyed my time there. It was very eye-opening. Already, the impact from that scholarship is immense. With all the things I've learned in Australia, we've been able to make some really tangible steps. The first big thing for us was we have always been under-resourced, under, understaffed. So we were able to get a bump in our staffing uh, by about 50%. Uh, then on top of that, that bump in staffing meant that we had the people to be able to tend to the issues that have been long-standing. The, the first one is that we have a lot of backlog of, uh, of deposits. When you have backlogs and unprocessed materials, it increases the chances of things getting lost. Now, one of those records was our birth certificate, our independence order. I'd never seen it. From the time that I joined the archives, it had already been lost. But by having the staffing to be able to put into, to, into effect a quality assurance program to deal with that backlog, we've <laughs> found that record. So that was my very first time to see it. So how do we explain losing it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I said, no, it's, we just put it on the table. This is what's happened. And we found it now because we have the right staffing. Uh, we have been able to salvage $2,000 of historical footage. Okay? Fiji's national audiovisual collection was on the cusp of being eroded to the point of no return. We were able to convince government to make the funding available for the project and uh, the contract was awarded to a highly reputable archiving audiovisual firm. They restored it, they digitized it, and they put it into a media management system here for us. This footage is now available to the public. But more than that, the footage is being harvested by the Ministry of Information, who then package it, and then are able to air it free to air. Welcome, Fiji and the Pacific, to Back in Time. I think that this year we've had, we've actually compiled 36 programs. I feel, personally, that in order to understand the present, you must have, uh, you know, an understanding of what happened in the past. To actually see the shots of women farewelling their brothers, their husbands, and, you know, you actually see these shots in black and white and how painful uh, departure is. I actually cried uh, while you know, looking at this footage. I, I just love it and, and uh, my other friends love it too. 
and they cannot miss the, you know, the program when it comes on TV. Yeah, I think it's great that they were able to salvage those uh, footage because uh, if they didn't do that, they would have been lost forever. We are an oral tradition society. So for us, it's much more important to engage with our culture through mediums like film. You know, it used to be when there were government displays that nobody would go to the archive section. Now, screens 